Hi, I'm Lion from Dragon's Aid and Aim, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are back on the Reliable, and um, we just came from the professor's little lab asteroid ship thing, apparently, and we are now going to go to the Groundbreaker and uh, meet up our, uh, with our contact. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Thanks, Ada. Can we chat? Of course. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? June Lay Tennyson? What about her? She can't be that good. This place is a dump. Uh, is it is this urgent or can it wait? No, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. We will do that. Sure, we could head over to engineering now. I thought you said you could keep uh, this boat in good repair. Are you asking to leave my crew and join hers? I don't think she'd be much help, but if you happen if you happen to be along, feel free to speak up. No, we couldn't do that. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? No, thanks. Um, yeah, because I want Pavati to be on my ship, of course, and I want her to be able to repair my ship, of course. And I'm not going to question her, but because Pavasi is a very good person. <laughs> I really like my companions. And we're here. Captain. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to say that. <laughs> Pavati. You are the cutest. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. You need a drink even though one of your workers apparently got smashed by a tossball bat? Can I talk to you, Felix? You have a name. Going for a stroll around the docking bay? Sure. I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Why is that? I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I heard you knocked someone out with a tossball stick. It's almost like you wanted to get arrested. That guard threatened to toss you out of an airlock. I heard you knocked somebody out. The guy insulted my Rizzo's rangers, alright? <laughs> you can't just insult my rangers and expect to get away with it. Well, yes you can. So of course I decked him with a tossball stick. No, not I mean, of course. Am I? Some kind of fair weather fan? Okay, slow down. What exactly did you do? Rizzo's rangers? That's a bit of an overreaction. It is. But who are the Rizzo's rangers? Only the finest group of tossball players ever to take the They're field. They're probably lost in the league, He's aren't they? He's a spacer's they? chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. He was also your foreman? And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? Oh boy. So you defend the honor of your team. And that's why you that's how you settle your differences. That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Well, got any plans? Sounds like you're better off on your own. You're just lucky you're not serving a sentence. Do you have any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. True. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? It is. I'm Captain Hawthorne. 
of the Unreliable. That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Technically, the previous captain died in a horrible accident. Why do you ask? Yes, that's me. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. <laughs> hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Uh, I never caught your name, I'm Lyle. You in a hurry to get somewhere? Never got your name. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hi, Felix. See you around. See you around, boss. Boss? I'm not your boss, boss. Felix. I mean, oh my god. Steve Dor? We move cargo 16 hours a day and half of us still can't afford a bed. That's not good. Who does this place belong to? Is it another Spaces Choice thing? I don't want to steal anything. I'm so bad at stealthing. My dad. I really like that they just throw all of these names and uh, words out at you as if they should mean something. Gives you like that fish out of water uh, experience and also it makes the world building just that much more believable, which I like a lot. I discovered a vending machine. Yes, there is one. That's Phineas again. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at him. I also still don't know who the board is. Wanted. Gunner Mc, uh, McGreed. Dead or alive, for several counts of public intoxication, destruction of groundbreaker property, unpaid docking fees, and resisting arrest. Contact Commandant Sanita, Commandant, if you have any information concerning Magritte's or Magret's, sorry, whereabouts. Failure to report a tip may result in imprisonment and a fine. Proof of kill required to collect reward. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Customs and inspection, right this way. This is Space's choice. This is a new one, right? Right? Board approved. What do they sell? A lot of the same stuff. Yeah, well. I like these little jingles. Um, can I talk to you? Identification, please. Well, present Hawthorne's ID. Here you go. My name's Lyle. It's my first time here. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, I, speaking, I don't have an ID. What happens then? I'm going to give you Hawthorne's. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin oh, no. your day. Am I going According to get... According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded no. until such a time as they see fit to lift it. God damn. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. <laughs> well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Oh, no. Um, how do I get this resolved? So I'm stuck here. I take it back. I'm not Hawthorne. And this, that isn't my ship. It is. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, Udom. our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Any idea why my ship was impounded? I take this happens a lot. Do you have any idea? Access to that information is above my pay grade, of and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. Oh. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Uh-oh. Great, I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. This has to be a mistake. I'm going to wring this Bedford guy's neck. I'm going to straighten this out. You take the starch out of him? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? What do you want? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Um, her shipment? Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. <laughs> I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. 
I have a SAM unit on board. Can I like nick some 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 parts or something? Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? I thought about actually if that SAM robot is a dig to into Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm not sure, but maybe. Uh, I'm looking for someone named Gladys. Can I find a job around here? What can you tell me about Udom Bedford? Seems like there's some tension between the board and Groundbreaker. Yeah, let's ask about Gladys first. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. She's a fence. Make sure you bring right. an empty belly. Why? I'm looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Thanks. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. You are pretty nice to me, actually. Even while I'm pounding my ship. Can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Um, I'm looking for something a little more local. Yes, that too. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. <laughs> Bad folks, I mean. Not uh, not regular folks. Thanks for the clarification on that. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Mm -hmm. Got it, thanks. How about something long term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited, or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Why is that a thing? How does Halcyon Holdings work, anyway? Are you pulling my leg? No. I'm new around here. I just want to hear your take on it. I'm just fooling you. Of course I know how the board works. No, I'm new. You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Sure. Well, I won't hold it against you. Thanks. Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Cool, I actually got some backstory if I ask for it. The Board runs most of the system, don't they? How does Groundbreaker uh, fit into that? So there's actually a boardroom somewhere with all these company heads in it? Yeah, they run most of the yep. system. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. How does Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. A few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Yeah, well. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. So I might actually have some, maybe, I don't know, uh, relatives on this other ship? Or maybe not, I don't know. Who are now 70 years older than I am? Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. True. Got it. Thanks. Glad to help. I didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're That's on the good. promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. I will go in there anyway. All right. Um, what can you tell me about Uden Batford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. 
Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sounds like a fun guy. So there's tension between Groundbreaker and the board. Thanks for the info. So there's tension. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Good. So they don't take you over or something. Why can't Groundbreaker and the board just work together? I'm glad it terrifies them, the bastards keep pushing them. Sounds complicated, it does. Sounds like, yeah. But from where I sit, it's all coming through loud and clear. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? I hope not. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. You, you, you get by, I'm sure. I, I'll help you. Sure thing. Shh. I'm... Be seeing Somebody you. important, I hope. Then let's go. Let's see what we have on side quests and companion quests. Uh, Vicar Max believes the book you retrieved for him in Emer Emerald Vale holds the key to his enlightenment. He has requested your help in tracking down someone who can decipher its contents. The cleaning mach machine asks Ada about the SAM unit. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I didn't do that. I want to do that before. Because maybe there are parts here that I can... That I can find. Find here. Sorry, but I really, 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 really want to do that. Ada, I'm coming back. Ada, how do I get? How do I get back? I want to get. Let, oh no, I'm impounded. Hey there, you mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded, and oh. I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. God damn. Um, can you help me get this cleared up? I'd surely love to. But that's just not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. God damn. His office is on the promenade. God damn. Have yourself a pleasant day. Thanks. Should have done that before. Ah, uh, we're gonna do the Pavasi one first. I think and see what comes across our path in the meantime. Cus, Cass. These are all NPCs. A workbench. Nice. Hello. Can I talk to you too? Oh, can. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. True. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? I don't think you can do anything. Just getting my bearings. What do you do here? I'd really like to get back there. <laughs> I could use some work. Any pointers? What do you do here? This is the security desk, ma'am. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. Can I get to her? Why Why can't you take incident reports? Do you do, I don't know, tours or something? I bet you've got seized contraband from all over the system locked up back there. A lot of freighters come through the station, must keep you busy. I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well, Aww. folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. Yeah. Do you do tours? We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, it's not. Uh, we just don't. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat. That might warrant a thank you tour or something. Okay, I can do that. Or I can persuade him. Any chance you'll change your mind? I can bribe him. 
Or we're friends, right, Lee? Do me a favor, and I'll owe you one. All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. That was pretty easy. That was really, really easy. Especially since your commandant especially stands right next to you. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. I actually do want to do a bounty. I'm interested in that Magret bounty. Where can I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. I will. I'll take the posting. Why don't you send a Mardet to apprehend him? Yeah, why don't you? Oh, I will. Soon as the chief approves the personnel reorg required for a bounty dispatch. Oh. So, in about three to seven weeks. That's a long time. Okay, I'll take the posting. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. His lucky lighter. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Skip speed? What bounties do you have available? I couldn't help but notice the bounty posting on Phineas Wells. So what's it like working security detail on a space station? Yeah, what is it like? We're just gonna do a bit of conversation. Do I look like your gossipy best friend? God damn. While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? Why would you do that? Fine, fine. We're all right. Just trying to make conversation. Exactly! I'm not here for a chat. Now get moving, before I see you moved. What's the Mardet? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. The crossing? What is the crossing? Why Mardet and not guard or officer? The original force was made up of a marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardets because it was easier to say. Guess it's stuck. Okay. Um, yeah. Phineas Wells. The outlaw scientist fella. Right. The board's had it out for him for ages. I kinda know where if he is. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear I it. I don't think I'm gonna tell him. Got it. Is this Wells fellow a famous criminal or something? To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace is all. Good. What bound what other bounties do you have available? Still waiting to hear back on that bounty for McRed. Out of side. Not much else. Groundbreaker's keeping calm at the moment. Okay, thanks. Can you tell me anything else? What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Um, I could use some work. Any pointers? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, ma'am? Um, Chief Tennyson? Chief Junlei Tennyson. She runs the ship. Does a real great job of it, too. Her family's worked on it for, gosh, since it was built, I think. Back before the crossing. What's she like? Is she a good boss? No. Good as she can be, I guess. What with all the troubles Groundbreaker's facing. She could stand to lighten up, I suppose. But she tries her best to do right by folks, and that's what matters. It does. Leading a ship the size of Groundbreaker must be a challenge. Why'd you want to know that, Pavasi? Fascinating, anyway. Do you want to stay here? N no reason. Don't you trouble yourself over it, Captain. That was very convincing, miss. I think your captain almost bought it. <laughs> don't hassle my crew, kid. Leading a ship this Yeah, don't hassle my crew. Yes, ma'am. Of course. I'm sorry if I overstepped. Was just having fun is all. Didn't mean anything by it. Okay. Yeah, must be a challenge. Sure is. But she makes it look easy. She's real competent, our chief. Even if she ain't real friendly. Um, what can you tell me about Sublight Salvage? They're run by Miss Hagen. Half the tramp captains and contractors in the system have worked for her. I ought to warn you straight off. 
Scuttlebutt says some of the jobs they do aren't exactly above board. Yeah. Downright anti-business, if you catch my meaning. Uh, I'll need you to explain. No, I get it. Oh, sure, sure, sorry. Gets a mite boring at this desk, you know. Then I get to chatting too much, and Commandant Sunia's gotta reprimand me again, and... Oops, doing it again. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Captain's real understanding. Can't speak for the captain, but I'm used to listening to folks drone on about their pointless, depressing lives. <laughs> Max! Awful generous of you, listening to me like this. I like you. I like that. Mind if I ask you some questions? That's what I'm here for, ma'am. Um, I bet you've got seized contraband from all over the system locked. Oh, no. Okay, no, this isn't that interesting. Why are you stuck in a wall, Max? And why are you back there? I was wondering where he was this looking. Is Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew ch- I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. Wasteland. Okay, if you if we are right here, then we will do that. Things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Graham? <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> okay, so I already talked myself. Um, okay, whoop. Hi, I'm back here. You don't mind, I guess. Hello, sir. You have so much stuff that I can't take. Now I went back out again. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, he, I can't. I can't uh, sleep in the cell here. Apparently, not like Emerald Vale. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Okay. Eject docking records data cartridge. Confiscated goods. Yeah, we'll, I will just look through these. Detained a freelancer who was cagey about his business. Confiscated his personal belongings while he waited for questioning. Modified pistol. Jock. Hatchet. Metal hoop. Prayer beads. Locked container. Owner refused inspection. He fled before we could get down to it. Left his things behind, so they are stored in the back of the security station until the idiot shows up his shows his face again, which is likely to be never. Security logs. Sublight put a bid on one of our impounds. Generous one too. Negotiate for the usual finder's fee and then give Lilia her salvage. Brawl at the Lost Hope. Freelancers versus board. Freelancers won. Arrested a freighter captain with more bits than, than brains. Hawthorne's ship impounded by order of Uden Bedford. Still no clue why Hawthorne associates with that board snake. A guy from the back base roughed up the moon kit, raving mad, warned me that the moon was gonna bring about the end times. He was flying high on whatever McRat grows down there. Got a sworn testimony that McRat was spotted at the rest and go. Not that anyone will corroborate it. Reminder to keep an eye on Gladys. So this is for you. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. So I can just, we can just do that here? Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? I don't know. I wouldn't know. This all seems awfully convenient. Perception. You hesitated there, Vicar. What aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I... Really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? But this all seems awfully convenient. 
I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Do you now? Yay! Another level! Long guns! One, two, three, four. Adapt! Long guns, weak spot damage plus 20%. That's good. Dialogue. Is that one three? Yeah, so I have persuade. At 50. Stealth. Hack and lockpick, or do I want tech? I think I will put the last ones in tech. Yeah. Apply. Get a new perk. Now, what do I want? What do I want? Your tactical time dilation meter recharges much faster. Do I want this? Or do I want this? Because I do get over encumbered a lot because I cannot carry a lot. I'm actually now again at 79. Out of 80. Now we're gonna do the time dilation one. Just because it's, I think, more useful in combat. Now we can do Pavati, Pavati's quest, I hope. <gasps> okay. That was a cool re reveal. <gasps> wow. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. 12% more crunch. Well, I, I bet Max, but it's still very cool. Can I talk to you? Rizzo's Purpleberry Fudge. A soft, sour candy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored center. Not just chew it, you can do it. <laughs> Writing ads isn't that easy, and they have to write imaginary ads that are stupid. Oh god, I like this game so much. That's barred. Oh, I can actually take these. Thank you. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. So we can't really go to Monarch, even though we have to Amethysts for Max. With the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. Oh my god. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hardworking citizens. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon <laughs> And no Mercury in Saltuna. Wow! Oh my god. Yeah, as I said, they have to write these imaginary ads that are terrible and funny and also kind of feel like ads. That's that's skill. That's a skill that not a lot of people have. The writers of these games of this game are incredible. Halcyon News. Chairman salutes Earth Minister Clark. Chairman Rockwell took time out from his busy schedule today to talk to us about Minister Clark and his impact on the colony. Working with Minister Clark has been truly wonderful these part eight uh, past eight years, he said. His predecessor did a fine job, but Clark's brilliance cannot be overstated. The early retirement program is just the latest in a long line of initiatives he has sh uh, spearheaded that will ensure Halcyon continues to be the envy of all the outer colonies. We couldn't agree more, Mr. Chairman. 
Halcyon News Media Circus surrounds circus time clowns. The politics of Tossball have grown increasingly turbulent of late, with the circus time clowns trading out every single member of the team. Asked to comment on the upheaval, the Owners League, Owners, Owners League released a statement saying that the clowns' failure to reach the finals was a deciding factor in their organizational rearrangement. When questioned about the values of this overhaul team, a representative from the clown stated that their goals remain the same as ever. Toss, ball, win, repeat. Sounds a lot like football. And no, I do not mean American football. I mean actual football. Rest and go key card. Yeah, well, as I said, my stealth is shit. I have to talk my, my way into everywhere. Let's do that again. That was so cool. Rizzo's lemon slap. Slap your whole family tonight. <laughs> slap your whole family on? tonight. We were in a holding pattern for two hours just to get in. Palms had to go on break. Chief didn't have enough hands to coordinate docking. Something about the radiators being busted. I don't know. Not my problem, right? I like this. What is this? Drink efficiently. That sounds like Space's choice, to be honest. Bell's shells. The Lost Hope Bar. Well, I'm from the Lost Hope. Can I help you with something, maybe? Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Uh, I don't suppose you know a way I could get to Stella Bay on Monarch? <laughs> Let me see what, you have, what you've got for sale. All the traders in the system come through here. Heard anything interesting? What's the heat issue I hear people complaining about? Yeah, what is what is up with that? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. I will probably help. Engineering, sounds like you might have an issue with your thermal control system. Couldn't say. And I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. True. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here and it's only gonna get worse. What do you need radiators for? Who's in charge of fixing it? Maybe I can do something about that. They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. That's not good. How long's it been like this? Weeks? I lost track. Too law damn long. <laughs> Too law damned long. I like that. Who's in charge of fixing it? Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap. Best she can, anyway. And we are gonna Don't help her. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. Maybe I can do something about that. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Junlei in engineering. Thank you. I don't suppose you know a way I could get to Stellar Bay. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about ten years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. Do you know why? It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kinda chew your face off for fun. Mm. Might all be board propaganda, though. If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. I need to talk to her anyway. All the traders in the system come through here heard anything interesting. Some big shot down in Byzantium's holding auditions for a new adventure serial. So yay, another six of those next season. That would be, if we, if that is a job that we can score, I want it. There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, June's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Okay. Thank you.
Can I go through here? No one saw me trip over that, right? <laughs> I didn't, Max. I would never see you trip. Oh. I, re I do need to put my next points into hacking and stuff. I do. If you're short on bits, you can work off your tab. I don't have a tab. So I don't have to work off anything. Oh god, are you throwing up? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. <laughs> we interrupt Cosmo your advertisement for a story. Soon, but a scandal That's good. has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. <gasps> Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing stims. A toss ball first. <laughs> Coaches and referees are debating how and if this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. You've been listening to Halcyon News. Your mandated duty as a good that's, citizen. That's good. That's good. There's a medical bay, bell shells. Are you Bell? You are. You know you that have an sound eye when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, that's how you know your weapon loves you back. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Thank you. Um, what's the benefit of modifying my weapons? Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. All the better for performing a little percussive maintenance. Self-improvement, including one's weapons is always a worthy endeavor. Take sure. your basic Deadeye Assault Rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended no, no, no. ammo magazine and a barrel heat sink to bump up rate of fire. Okay. How do I attach the modification? So is this just a, is, uh, just a tutorial? On modifications that I just get for free. That's so clever that they j don't just slap some stupid press this and that prompts anywhere. It, I, I just like this game. How do I? I don't really need to uh, because I have already done it. So if I change my mind, can I take a mod off or replace it? That I actually don't know. Uh, no, and yes. When you install something, it pops in there real nice, but if you want to replace it, the originals tend to snap like plastic toys. Okay. Where can I find? Does modifying a, a weapon void the warranty? A what? Sorry, hon. Here at Bell's Shells, we just don't discuss impolite topics, and W-A-R-R-A-N-T-I-E-S tops the list. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, what can I get you? Uh, nothing, thanks. Don't really want to trade anything right now. Waste disposal. Let's see what's in here. I was wondering what they do with their waste. I guess they just chuck it down here. Where the hell go? Yeah. Hey, can I shrink you? Apparently I can't. I should actually put out my other weapons. I totally forgot that I have that shrink thing. Ew, this is disgusting. Uh, how about I stay up top? You know, keep watch, okay? Sure. <laughs> Don't... Actually, don't want to pick that up, but... Oh no, I'm overburdened now from that pizza. Oh, you are dead, sir. 
Uh, crumpled instructions. Frankie got a lead on some local salvage. One of the groundbreakers' old hangars was bricked over until someone found it by poking around the Steve Dawes quarters. Lilia gave us the go-ahead to plant her flag once we clear out the new arrivals. I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You got to climb on top of their bunks and uh, head toward the back wall. Lilia says we should watch our backs. She thinks we're being trailed. In other words, typical Lilia. What? Where is that? I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You got to climb on top of their bunks and head toward the back wall. Okay. I forgot that I have that shrink... Shrink ray still equipped. What was that? Now I'm so slow. I think I have to sell some things. I'm coming back, Belle. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna do that round when I come back. And go and find Junlei. But there's a terminal, so now I must... I can hack this. Uh, from J Tennis and Jay, engineer to and en all engineers. Anyone seen Private Taylor? Haven't seen him in days. And where are we on that toilet clock? If Chief Guying taught me anything, it's that a crew's morale is proportional to the quality of their outhouse. You take away a crew's plumbing, you take away their privacy and dignity. So let's get that toilet fixed. From Buchanan Kitty, Wildcat Group, Groundbreaker Meetup. Even though it's been nigh on 20 years since our last meetup on Groundbreaker, I was hoping we could get the old gang back together. I understand that things have changed. Some of us are long-range haulers, some of us have gone corporate, some of us are likely dead, and some of us are on Tartarus and not reading this message, but I haven't lost hope. No one responded to my last invite. I hope that means your schedules are full up with family gatherings and job opportunities. Stay free, freelancers. To, uh, from Iceman, to IS Convoys... Convey conveyors Collective. Conveyors Rights. Hi all. So I just got off the ice from a round trip to Dashkova. Two years out, two years back. Imagine my surprise when we... D thought and Groundbreaker comms told us our docking was gonna be delayed. One hour turned into five, then days went by. In the end, we spent an entire goddamn week waiting for a berth on this law-fucked bolt bucket. And because we were kicking our heels all that time, not a one of us got paid. I don't know about you, but I got expenses, a family I don't see often enough. That you wouldn't fucking believe. And even if I'm not working, I still gotta make my payments. Does that seem proper to you? Don't we conveyors have rights? We should do something about this. If you agree, leave a message here and I'll respond when I get back, fr back from Jensen in three years. Eisman out. This me message is no longer accessible at your clearance level. Public notes regarding the food situation. To those of you who have raised concerns about the quality of Groundbreaker's victuals, yes, I'm aware the promenade stinks, allow me to put the matter to rest. Our ancestors didn't rise from humble beginnings to on a diet of spratwurst and borsts. But that's the reality of life up here. If you can salt it, can it, or zip it up in a pouch, then we are not picky about calling it food. Spaces make do with what they have. And what we have is smelly meat, lots of salt, and 11 kinds of mustard. Last time I counted. Try to enjoy it. Ship impounded? This is a general notice about our impound policies. If the board impounded your ship, take it up with the board. Their embassy is the Gordy building opposite Sublight's warehouse. Send them your questions, outstanding fees, and hate mail. Especially hate mail. If Groundbreaker impounded you, pay your damn fees and don't bother my people. 
looking for work, urgently looking for a new crew to sign on with. I've been stuck in Halcyon for almost a year now, don't know what's holding up my next posting. Never had to wait this long to get on another freighter. I'd planned to take one of the rare long hauls back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any, and even the shorter skips to the inner world seem rarer than the outer world routes these days. If anyone has any information about upcoming work, please post it here. Down on my luck. Hey, so here's my story. My ship limped into Groundbreaker in a rough state. We couldn't make the repair fees, the docking fees, refueling or the fees for not being able to pay our fees. So I'm kind of stuck here now. Then they took my ship and sold it off as scrap. Now my credit is short, shot to hell and corporate freighters won't hire me on. I'm hoping someone with a bunk to spare and places to go is feeling charitable. Thanks for listening. This notice has been posted 56 times in 632 days. That's a lot. That really is a lot. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache oot on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. <laughs> Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. No, I won't. Greasy. That's Auntie's kitchen. Hello, Auntie Greasy. Greasy. Potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's kitchen. Hello. A home style consumable protein dispensary. Baby's unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. No, thank you. Aren't you just a glorified vending machine? No, no, we're not gonna insult that poor robot. Hi, um, can I go through here, please? I can. Oh, it's really hot here, isn't it? This is Halston X411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Remember I don't know. Because she remembers you. When That's you she. were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you a needle full of love? A auntie needle Clara, full true. of love? Have you given your auntie a hug today? This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news at the Halcyon Colony. No, we want to talk to Junlei. thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. Oh, they just well, don't have any. I have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. True. Junlei! Hi, I have a fan with me. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Chief to my friends. <laughs> Well, nice place you've got here, Chief. I'm captain of the Unreliable, though my ship's a bit grounded at the moment. Well, that's not her problem. I don't plan on staying long, Captain. Um... No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. There won't be. I'll do whatever I can to help you keep the peace. I'll try not to start any fights, but I might have to end some. Copy that, Chief. Yeah, I'm trying to keep Good. the peace. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, once I get out of Impound, I'm bound for Monarch. Yep. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. 
Well, I don't have any allegiance to anything because I was just thought out. Um, Pavati, you wanted to talk to Junlei, go ahead. Yeah, let's... she can do her thing. What? I didn't think you just... <laughs> Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Eh uh -huh. No need to be so formal for... Yeah, I'm gonna not sure. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Silently encourage Parvati. Yes. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... <laughs> Sorry. I like it. Honest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Junlei. I had some other question for you. <laughs> nice job, Pavati. <laughs> um, uh, nice job. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, You're if welcome. there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Well, I actually wanted to help you. It seems kind of warm in here. What's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping <laughs> superheated awesome. air into my ship. I love Pavati. Why haven't you fixed them yet? I'm sure your capable staff can stay ahead of the problem. Why haven't you fixed them? Only the board has access to new parts. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room for compromise? Surely the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. Well, is there no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board... Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. I don't want that. Intelligence, you need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Is there any way I can, is there a way I can help? How do the heat radiators work? Well, if I can earn something, I think I should. Reasonable, huh? Yeah. That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back base. Got it. I'll take care of that right now. The back base? Am I supposed to know where that is? How do you know that the parts are still there? But there's a catch, right? Yeah. Am I supposed to know? Sorry. I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. I get you those parts from the back bays. You can't get these parts anywhere else. Couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever is down there? Have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? Can we try talking to them? Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Um, you can't get these parts anywhere else. You must not have been here long. No! In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth. And the board monopolizes that kind of trade. Wow. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. Their negotiations sound like bureaucratic, a bureaucratic coup. Aren't you just delaying the inevitable by cannibalizing groundbreaker systems? You probably are. Damn right. And while I'm captain of the groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Um, have you tried sending anyone else down there? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any mardits on this job. No offense. But a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why so protect? None taken. No, really. Flash a rude gesture with both hands. None taken. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. You're welcome. I'll get you those parts. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. That's good. And you did a fine job, Pavati. That was entertaining as hell. I hope it was for you too. Because I'm gonna end this 
episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I do, why not comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out our Tumblr and Twitter. The links are in the description down below. I love you all. Bye-bye.